Welcome to Kiki Catalyst. This video is an overview on how to create and manage your tasks within the system. There are several ways to create a task in Kiki Catalyst. You can create a task from the dock area by selecting the new task button on the contact level or on the policy level. From the dark gray toolbar, you're going to select Add Task. Once the task widget has populated, you are able to create a subject. This is very useful if you're using the task widget located on the dashboard. Next, in the details section, you can add a brief description or summary pertaining to the task. You also have the ability to associate this task with a contact. You can assign this task to one employee or multiple employees. If you click on Policies, you will be able to associate this task with one policy or multiple policies related to this contact. You can set a start date, a due date, a status for the task, the priority of the task, and a percentage completed. In order to set a reminder on a task, you're going to select Set Reminder and two different options will appear. You will be able to enter a reminder date and time. Once you're done entering the necessary information, you will click OK at the bottom of the page to save your changes. Once the reminder comes due, those who are assigned to the task, the bell in your dock area tilts to the side as a notification. Clicking the bell displays the list of notifications. The reminder for the task is one of them. From the notification bell, you are able to select View Task, and the system will take you directly to the Task and Notes tab under the Customer Overview page. The first section listed under the Task and Notes tab is Task. In this section, you have the ability to edit, delete, or mark the task completed. Next, let's review how to view tasks that have been assigned to you. You are able to view your assigned tasks in two different areas of Kiki Catalyst, in the Task Widget and in the Username drop-down menu under My Task. In order to view the tasks assigned to you on the dashboard, you will need to add the Task Widget. All of the tasks that you have created and those that are assigned to you are displayed within the widget. As previously mentioned in our widget video, each widget has a toolbar. If you hover over an icon, it will tell you what that icon will do within that particular widget. You have the ability to change the settings on this widget. For example, if you want to see tasks that are assigned to you, you will need to select the box. You can select which tasks you would like to display on the widget, and a date range. Once you're done making the necessary changes, you will need to select Continue. From the Task widget, you are able to edit any task. Once you have completed a task, you can select the check mark on the widget to mark that particular task completed. If you mark the task completed by mistake, you are able to select Undo and the task will reappear on the widget. And lastly, you can select the customer's name displayed on the widget and the system will redirect you to the customer's overview page. To view the task assigned to you from the username menu, you're going to hover over the username. This will display a drop down menu. You're going to select My Task. You have many different options on the screen. Use the Sort By option to sort the task by due date, status, and priority. Use the Show Completed toggle to show or hide completed tasks. Click the task to view additional details such as Edit and Delete. You also have the ability to search for tasks. The search engine will start to search as you begin to type. 